Today, we are fixing a very common mistake that can rob you of distance and accuracy. All right, let's talk about elbow drop. No, we are not talking about wrestling. We are talking about the position of the elbow as it's entering the power box portion of the throw, basically the midpoint of our throw. In order to get a proper whip and release point, we need to get our arm into the proper power box position. The correct power box position is created by your collarbone, your bicep, and your forearm. The first angle is created by the upper chest or collarbone area and then your bicep or the upper arm. The second 90 degree angle is created by your bicep, upper arm, and then your forearm. The mistake is when the power box collapses when the elbow drops during the throw. This can cause a loss of power and an inconsistent release point. Here's an example. I was coaching Dr. Kushal and I noticed that when he was throwing he was dropping his elbow. This is a very common thing that I see and this is kind of why I'm addressing it in this video today. If you look at his arm position, during the midpoint of the throw, kind of where the power box happens, you will notice that his elbow actually drops lower and the power box ends up collapsing. Now if you look, there still is a little bit of a power box as you see here, but you can tell that it is a little deflated. So along with losing a little bit of power and consistency in your release point, you're also going to possibly be throwing your disc nose up because you're starting from such a low point and you're kind of having to bring it up a little bit and that's going to cause you to go from a low to high position during the throw and the angle of the disc is going to be nose up. When the disc is nose up, it's going to cause you to lose a lot of distance and probably miss some of the lines that you're looking for. So dropping your elbow can be caused by a couple of different things. Uh, one of the things could be muscling or trying way too hard during your shot, trying to throw too hard. Um, sometimes your elbow drops down, we feel a little bit more powerful uh, in that position where we're pulling from a low to high uh, position with our hips and our torso. Sometimes it just feels more powerful. The second thing would be that your shoulder is way too loose and it's causing the power box to kind of break down and collapse and you're not really creating that stable box position that we're looking for during the throw. In order to maintain the proper power box position, you want your elbow to be up and away from your body. You don't want to allow your elbow to drop and get close to your body because then you really lose a lot of power in your whip. So sometimes people will drop their elbow when they're trying to change the angle of their shot, mainly for the hyzer shot. So instead of changing the arm angle and collapsing the power box, what you want to do is you actually want to bend at your waist to create the different angle. That way you can still maintain the proper power box position during the throw. So a simple drill to kind of feel what the power box should feel like as you're pulling through the throw and then maintaining the proper elbow position. Get into a proper power box position and then rotate your torso backwards into the reach back and only allow your elbow to open up as you're reaching back. Try to maintain the 90 degree angle with your collarbone and your bicep and then pull forward to the power box position and then reach back again and just kind of keep doing that over and over until you get the feel of what it should feel like as you're pulling through because when you throw a shot then you'll kind of know like oh that didn't feel the same as what I was just practicing so maybe I did it different and then go ahead and take a video of yourself and it'll be a lot easier to watch and see what you're doing when you're throwing out in the field. So I hope this video helps you in some way. I know I haven't posted in a long time, but I have a lot of new stuff coming, a lot of coaching videos. I've been just been really busy, but I have a lot of stuff that's coming now. And uh, I also have a new series I'm working on, which is going to be my journey from an amateur to professional in trying to make it on tour. Should be really interesting, gonna go super in depth with like my training, uh, what it's like, you know, just traveling all over the US, the mental side of it, the financial side, just anything that kind of entails uh, trying to be a professional disc golfer. So it should be pretty interesting. Um, I'm probably gonna post a few little things here and there on Instagram and Facebook as well if you wanna kind of keep up with this. It's gonna be kind of like a documentary slash vlog style for that type of thing, but I will have more coaching stuff coming. I also wanna start doing form reviews and more coaching. Uh, online. I'll have more details on that once I get the Patreon kind of set up and running if anybody wants to help support. 
uh, the channel. I'm gonna try to get some affiliate links so that when you go shopping online, it'll help support me in my journey on tour and to give you guys more content and stuff to watch. Um, if there's anything else you're interested in learning about, just let me know and I'll try to get to that and you know speak more on those topics. But thank you for stopping by and supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys later.